Uh, this is the first part of my calibration and setup guides for the uh, DNA 250, 200, 166, 133, 75, and 60. Uh, it should primarily be used for um, mods that did not come calibrated from the manufacturer or came calibrated and they seem to be particularly off of any other DNA mods you have. Uh, in order to do this, I'm going to divide the the in, I'm going to divide this guide into various sections, and the, this first section can be skipped if you've already set up your Windows PC and you're you're set to go and you you uh, already have some idea of what you're doing. Um, this this first section is for somebody who does not have the software installed and doesn't know how to use Evolve. You will need a Windows PC of some kind. I believe it's Windows 7 and newer. I happen to be using Windows 10. You need to go to the uh, www.evolvapor.com as shown right there. And we're first going to download the um, eScribe software is the name of the software. Now, it doesn't matter which one of these you go to, but go to, uh, I guess, whichever one you have. But And if you have a 130, well, if you have a 166, that's a DNA 250 with only two cells, so go to that one. If you have a 133, that's a DNA 200 with only two cells, uh, go to that one. Uh, the DNA 75 and the DNA 60 are both single cell uh, chips single uh, battery chips uh, j just for the heck that they all get you the same thing for what we're doing so go to the DNA one of them I'm gonna go to the DNA 250 and if you scroll down some you'll get to where you can download the eScribe software and I'm gonna click to download the eScribe software and I'm going to quickly just choose my desktop and click Save and it's a fairly quick download At, at least at my internet speeds so it's done um, and that's all we need to get once we've got it on your desktop if that's where you saved it you can save it anywhere you want to double click on e on setup ES next agree I never install the eSig stats you can do what you want to on that I don't install anything except the USB drivers and I do let it auto update service packs. As of the time of this recording, the uh, most current version is eScribe version 1.2 service pack 5. But uh, anyway, click next. Uh, let it go to the default location. You can put it anywhere you want to and install. You do want to install the driver package because if you don't have drivers on your PC, uh, it won't be able to control the uh, mod when you connect it. So I'm going to click yes. And mine is downloading the most recent service pack. It did it. And I'm going to start eScribe. Sorry, I already had a unit hooked up. Disconnected it and click finish. When it first comes up, uh, without a unit connected, uh, it'll have settings similar to this. Who knows what? In order to get to the calibration settings, you need to go to Options, User Interface, Manufacturer. Once you've done that, then when you do connect it to a mod, which I'll do right now, it will first install any drivers that are necessary and then it'll allow you to connect to the mod. You can rename the mod to whatever you want to. Uh, it's just a name I've chosen for this particular mod I've got uh, so that you'll know which mod you're hooking up to anytime, or which what mod it thinks it's hooked up to anytime you're hooking up a mod. When you click on OK, it'll download all the settings from that particular mod that you've got hooked up and you will now, because you've gone to this Options User Interface Manufacturer, you've got a Mod tab. 
and there are things that you can change in this that will make the unit perform better than default if the manufacturer has not already done it. Uh, in this particular case, this mod has been calibrated and doesn't need any further work, but you may very easily receive one that uh, either has not been calibrated at all, and if so, this will generally be a zero, and that thing will be a 150, and that one will be a 150. That's default uh, settings. In fact, I can show that by doing File, New, selecting something like a DNA 75, which this chip happens to be. And when it comes up, and I've changed the defaults, but the, the zero comes up. And that shows it's not calibrated. And the more general defaults under mod are uh, zero for that and then 150 for the case cooling and, and that. Um, after having set this up, you are now prepared to do some of the calibrations that you can do on the mod, assuming that you need to do any calibrations at all.